over 12,000 miles, three states, and two countries. This year, I set out to embark on one of the greatest adventures of my life. To travel all the way around Lake Superior in search of some of the strongest species of migratory rainbow trout in the entire world. These wild trout absolutely flourish in the brutally harsh environment of the Canadian wilderness. With my truck loaded down with a wall tent, a wood stove, and enough supplies to become a resident of the wilderness, we were set to embark on this adventure. So sit back and enjoy not only this episode, but this entire upcoming series. Well, we have been to about four or five different state parks and all of them are still closed down. It's end of April right now and they don't open for another week. And so what we're gonna do guys, is we're gonna take a chance. We're gonna take a challenge. We're gonna go tent camping in a Walmart parking lot and see if we get kicked out. This is gonna be interesting. Courtesy of DJ Climax. Let's get camp set up here. We got our shopping cart. We've got the wood stove, got our tent, got our stakes, our poles. Even got a little shovel. If we have to shimmy some snow around, we're making it work. We're gonna go right around my hitch here, guys. Get it wrapped up, tie it off tight. If you can't tie a knot, tie a lot. Uh, the goal is, is to get camp set up before we get kicked out. <laughs> Look at this guy! Look at this guy! Just go straight up. <laughs> <laughs> now it's legit. Now it's real. Now it's becoming a reality. There's nothing stealthy about this. Let's see how long it lasts. I want to see some comments down below how long you guys think this is going to last. Shifts. <laughs> the real question is, are we going to be able to sleep once we get our fortress set up? That's the real question. Owning the UP, baby! Been walking for a while My feet are getting tired My heart's a little heavy But you keep me going Been walking for a while Mile after mile My soul's a little weary But you keep me going A little pineapple action here guys late night we got some chicken going on the wood stove and gonna have some chicken and pineapple here look at how juicy that chicken is those big chunks of pineapple just boiling water with some butter in there oh my goodness Oh my gosh, that is unbelievable. Well, I gotta say, I am so tired right now, but this chicken might be some of the best chicken I've ever had in the Dutch oven. It is so juicy and just cooked perfectly. <laughs> They're going to work. They're going to work, you guys. Time to go clock in this morning. Yep. 
you know, it's unbelievable. There's still a lot of snow in the woods here, guys. I don't know if we're even gonna really be able to get back and on some of these two tracks that look like they go back to the river, so we might have to do a little hiking, set up the camp a little ways off the river, but that's okay, we'll figure it out. Fogging up. I know, I had to take mine off. I was getting too sweaty. Oh yeah. All right, guys, well, we're just coming up on the river here. Wow, what a beautiful sight, man. Absolutely beautiful. Whew, had a long hike, guys, out of breath. Been getting some good exercise. It was a long hike back to these two tracks. But what we're gonna do is we just looked on the map and we saw the river makes a bunch of bends and it looks like it meets up with that road that we drove over. Actually, we know it does because we saw the river. So not sure how long it's gonna take us to fish this stretch, but we're gonna get after it. We're gonna start here and fish all the way back down to where we drove by and then just hike back to our car. So we'll see what happens. This is gonna be an adventure. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful, beautiful setting. Unbelievable, listen to these birds, woodpeckers, beautiful little hole, bubble line. Dude, this looks awesome, doesn't it? Oh yeah, got some exercise, glasses fogged. Rods didn't break though. Rods didn't break. So that's good. I made it down. We, uh, we really don't have much of an option at this point. We're pretty much in it to win it. We got a long, long stretch of river. Looks like a lot of bushwhacking to do. It's gonna be an adventure. We are in the place where bushwhacking has been creative. We finally have a nice little open stretch here, guys. It has been so thick. We've been just swimming through brush all day, but this has been just a crazy, crazy adventure. And let's see what we have coming up down here on this bend. It looks like a beaver's been doing some work here, but uh, wow, it's been so cool to just come around every bend to see a different hole, different change of scenery. Just absolutely beautiful out here. And as you can see, we got some sleet coming down and Casey's coming down with the drift. Let's see what's happening here. This looks like a really, really promising spot. One thing I'm really noticing right now, guys, is there's a ton of sand rolling down through this river right now. Every year when these swamps break open and everything unthaws for the first time, that pushes all the silt down through these river systems and it can take quite a while to clean out sometimes. The water level actually looks really good right now, but there is quite a bit of silt coming down. But I do have a feeling within the next couple days, the silt's gonna clear up and things are gonna be in perfect condition. So hopefully we can at least find one fish today and then we're gonna set up our camp and go from there. So that's the goal, to find a fish and if we can do that, we're gonna stick it out for the next week here. Well, we are faced with a bit of a predicament here. We either go way back upstream and cross and walk all the way around, or I might try to finagle my way across this log jam here, but it's pretty deep here and pretty deep down below it. So let's give it a shot, see what happens. Easy, easy. Okay, one step at a time. One piece at a time. What an insane river. What an insane log jam. Look at these massive logs here, guys. And look at the formations that the high water has just carved into these logs over the years. Just absolutely beautiful and so unique. What a cool place, man. Hopping in the river. We're just gonna start working our way all the way down through this straight stretch and see what we can find here. Lots of nice gravel all through here though. This looks absolutely beautiful. Tons of good gravel through here, guys. Looks like there should be some spawning fish around here somewhere. Fish? Got Casey's got one, guys. Oh my gosh, we gotta go check this out, guys. We gotta go check this out. Here we go, baby. First fish, Case. Beauty, man. Look at that, guys. Nice, wild little hen. That's a beautiful fish, man. Sweet, dude. <laughs> Got one, guys. First fish of the trip. Nice wild hen. Send her home. Send her home, yeah. There she goes, Case. Hell yeah, buddy. On the board. On the board, man. There's fish in here.
here we go. Back to a billy goat. Fish. Oh, dude, that was a fish I couldn't get a good hook set because the tree was right above me. Oh, I just had one, guys. That was a nice fish, too. I just didn't get the uh, full extended hook set like I probably should have here. Okay, let's try to reposition here a little bit. Come on, let's get one. What was that? There's one. There's one. That's a Cromer, guys. Oh my gosh, I worked this hole for a while. Same spot where I lost that one. It's shooting up river, man. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is a Chrome fresh fish on the move for sure, guys. Oh my goodness. It is just sharking up river. Oh! Oh my goodness, that is a huge Lake Superior fish. Here, Case. Right here, buddy. Right in that cove. Oh, yes, bud. Woo! Beautiful hand, guys. Yes. Casey, thank you, man. Beautiful oh, yeah. fish, man. That is a big Lake Superior steely, baby. Wow, guys. Well, we have worked hard for our fish today. We have, man, we have done some serious bushwhacking and have covered a lot of river miles, but it finally just paid off for me. I got a beautiful freaking Lake Superior wild steelhead. Now I'm gonna get her right back in the water. You know you're a steelhead fisherman when your fingers are just peeling and pruning from all the oh yeah all the wet torn all the wet torn weather. Working man steelhead hands. Oh. Oh, oh, oh dude, that's a nice fish. Oh, there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Is he still on? I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's kind of, your line's bobbing. Oh, I was hopeful. <laughs> nice bright fish right into the logs. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. <laughs> you just found some company with a dog that likes to, uh... That guy came out of nowhere, dude. <laughs> out of nowhere. He just popped out of the woods. Guys, this guy, this dog tried to come and attack our fish and the guy's like, you gotta watch the fish. And it looks like he's gonna go fish right below us. It didn't take long to, uh find another we might be in them now and this one is uh taking a little bit to get in sure let's see if we can get a tail on him here oh dude this is gonna be difficult oh oh i think he's got somebody else's hook dude he's got a whole bunch of hooks in him yeah got him oh that's your bead look at this bead he had the double bead on look at that look at his tail bead the clown is dude, that's well Started to rain, started to sleet, but can't ask for a better day. Yeah. <sighs> nice colored up male. Back colored he up goes. Male pissed. Oh yeah, I didn't think I was gonna get him to come back up river. <laughs> <laughs> he was going, going, going. And... That was a good sized fish, man. That was a good sized fish. Good quality, like yeah, superior dude. steelhead there. Running wild in the waters deep. Forget about, forget about 
<laughs> we in the bush wrestling with some steelies. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. my heart is pounding right now guys i can't believe that came out came into this spot had a good feeling about it it looked good a lot of gravel around here this is another really nice size lake superior steelhead here guys getting them down baby walking them down i'm gonna swing them right in this slack water here case if we can Nice, buddy. Nice job, man. Woo! Got him, guys. Woo! Wow, that was insane. That was insane. That was insane. Another nice Lake Superior steelhead, guys. It has been such a blast hunting down these wild Lake Superior steelhead. This has just been an incredible journey. And back he goes. Back he goes, guys. Dude, I can't you were believe wrapped that. up under those logs. Oh my gosh. Dude, I, I am lucky. I am lucky. Your we can't main line didn't snap or nothing. And there was is. so much tension in the water and the fish, it was the water was so fast I where the fish I was. was. I, dude, I thought I was gonna have to go for the fish. I thought your main line was gonna snap. <laughs> At first I thought your main line did snap. I, I heard it. It must have been a stick pop and, and it that's what yeah, we thought I was the line. For, I went for it right away because I thought your line snapped and the fish was still caught up in the bushes. <laughs> it's always an adventure bushwhacking, baby. Well, Kyle doesn't drink, but I do. Time for a beer? Yep, time for a beer. You gotta get everything together. Getting too worked up. Retie again, and again, and again. And again. Yeah. <laughs> that 13 foot stick is killing him. Kicking my ass. <laughs> hey, it paid off for that last fish though. Off. Yeah, at least I can, I can wave it out around all the trees anyway. <laughs> I love coming on adventures like this and I love to share it with you guys because it constantly pushes me to go outside my comfort zone and come and experience new places, go on new adventures, and it just leads you to places like this, man. I mean, this setting is just absolutely beautiful. The forest is so old and the river is so unique. I mean, everything just has so much character to it. And just pure, I mean, it doesn't get any more pure than this. Well, we're just finishing up one of the last holes of the day and then we got to go get our camp assembled guys and it looks like we're going to be doing it in some pretty pretty foul weather the rain and the snow has been off and on and right now it's just pretty much like a sleet and and it didn't sound like from the forecast that we looked at before we came here that it's going to let up anytime soon so i have a feeling it might be pretty interesting setting up the camp tonight greg's actually on his way up north right now and he's going to meet up with us he's had a long drive today and then we're going to get our camp put together and get ready to hit it first thing tomorrow morning Take it off, man. All right, man. Drive safe. We will uh, we'll see you in, what, a week? See you in a week. Canadian tour? Oh, yeah. Got some warm clothes on. I'm ready. Ooh. <laughs> it's so wet. So wet. All right, buddy. I'm yeah. going to go get this camp set up. Drive safe. Sounds good. See you All in right, a bro. week. See you in a few days. So let's forget about